Yellow water moccasins, also known as cotton mouse, are venomous snakes. A bite from a water moccasin will rarely kill a human. While this particular snake will certainly stand its ground and be quite aggressive if threatened, the water moccasin will not go out of its way to pose a threat. Water moccasins rarely attack unless they are provoked. Serving as the only venomous water snake found in North America, this pit viper is related to other familiar snakes of note, such as the copperhead and the rattlesnake. In this material, we will tell you how to positively identify a cottonmouth, the potency of its venom, and what steps you should take if you are bitten. Enjoy the video. We hope you find it informative. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend them with us. The shape of a cottonmouth's head is a critical observation point when it comes to positive identification. Cottonmouths have a triangular and somewhat blocky head shape. With a thin neck, the head of a cottonmouth is all the more pronounced. In terms of length, the average cottonmouth checks in at around 2 to 4 feet, with males being larger than females. As it relates to scales and patterns, the cottonmouth presents scales that are dark brown, a tad of olive, or black in color. The belly scales of a cottonmouth are a bit less pronounced in terms of color. As for the face, dark stripe markings line each nostril, and the snout of a cottonmouth is a bit more pale compared to the rest of the face. Young cottonmouths look a bit different compared to their adult counterparts. Brighter colors, which include a yellow tail tip. This yellow appearance will slowly fade with the natural aging process. The same is true for the brown bands that are often a hallmark of a juvenile cottonmouth. And speaking of hallmarks, arguably the biggest calling card of a water moccasin is its cotton mouth appearance. Sporting a bright white, the inside of a water moccasin's mouth has that cotton look. When a water moccasin feels threatened, it will display its cotton mouth in all of its glory. The venom from a cotton mouth mainly consists of hemotoxins. They prevent blood from coagulating. This prevents blood from clotting as the venom spreads through the body of a bite victim. The end result, if not treated with professional care, can involve internal bleeding, hemorrhaging, etc. While pain and swelling at the bite location is obviously an issue, the latter concerns can be avoided with anti-venom, which will be supplied if emergency action is taken, as we've noted. If you'd like to know more about how venom from a cotton mouth can react to the human body and some of the more extreme consequences, please visit us at snakesforpets.com. There you will find a detailed article on this specific subject matter. If you're watching us off-site, please click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to this valuable information. It should be noted, however, as mentioned in our introduction piece, human death by venom from a cotton mouth is quite rare. As long as you act accordingly and seek emergency professional care, you should be just fine. And as a segue, let's discuss a few things you can do if you are bitten. While anti-venom will counteract the effects of a cottonmouth's venom, there are a few helpful things you can do in the meantime to help your own situation. Number one, don't panic. Remain as calm as possible. The more you panic, the more you can become confused, lack the ability to think clearly, while also increasing your heart rate, thus accelerating the venom through your bloodstream. While staying calm is certainly easier said than done, it is one of the most critical things that you can do after being bitten by any venomous snake. Number two, never suck out the venom. Leave that to those old western movies. All this will do, in the real world, is increase the risk of infection. The odds of actually drawing out venom from a bite location is slim. And number three, remember the snake's appearance. Just because you think you've been bitten by a water moccasin doesn't mean you have. Remember what you've seen, even if you're all but certain that you know the type of snake in question. Once you arrive at the hospital, the visual you present to the emergency team can help them to apply the correct anti-venom as well as other additional treatments. The more you know about your own unique situation, the better the odds are of a full recovery. While a bite from a water moccasin is unlikely to kill you, it can cause potential long-term harm if not treated in a timely manner. This is why your actions post-bite are so vitally important. And on that note, that will close things out for the video portion of this material. As mentioned a bit earlier, if you'd like to know more about this topic, please visit us at snakesforpets.com. Utilize the initial link in the description box below if you're watching us from an outside platform. We hope that our detailed article on this subject matter can be of service to you. 
And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we thank you so much for watching and spending some time with us. It is greatly appreciated. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we'll talk to you later. Thank you.